Welcome to the segment on PFO and ASD closure in the cath lab. In this short segment, you'll learn why this procedure might be recommended and how it's done. Babies are born with an opening in the wall between the heart's two upper chambers, and this opening normally closes soon after. If it doesn't close completely, but remains leaky into adulthood, it's called a patent foramen ovale, PFO, and can cause problems for your heart. Rarely, babies are born with a different kind of hole in the wall or septum between the upper heart chambers. This hole is called an atrial septal defect, or ASD. This birth defect does not close naturally as the baby grows. A PFO or ASD may be closed in an open heart surgery, but at some hospitals it can be closed in a less invasive procedure in the cardiac cath lab. Let's look at what happens in the cardiac cath lab procedure. First, a cardiac catheter, a thin flexible tube, is fitted with a closure device and is threaded through a blood vessel to your heart. Once the catheter reaches the hole that needs to be closed, the doctor inserts the closure device. There are several different kinds of devices, but generally they work like an umbrella. When the device is collapsed, it's small enough to travel through your blood vessel. When it opens, it expands to close the hole. When the catheter is removed, the closure device remains. Eventually, your body will cover the device with its own tissue. This is the end of the segment on PFO or ASD closure. If you have questions about this procedure, ask your healthcare provider. To learn more about cardiac catheterization itself, check out the video segments called Preparing for a Cardiac Catheterization and After a Cardiac Cath Procedure.